About seven years ago, I was on a long trip. It was a bike ride on the East Coast Greenway from Miami, Florida to Portland, Maine. And along the trip, there were people who were local advocates who we met who were working to build greenways in their communities. And they came out, we met them at dinners, they sometimes rode and guided us through their areas, they told us their stories. You know, made me say, I need to do more in my community to promote cycling and greenways. The East Coast Greenway is a vision for a 3,000 mile long bicycle pedestrian multi-use path that is connected from Maine to Florida. Um, it is our goal to build it completely off-road, separated from traffic and accessible and available to people of all ages and all abilities. So the 3,000 mile Greenway is currently just past a third complete and that's a thousand miles of trail which is important. We think that's gonna be a tipping point to get us over the edge. Now we're a household name within the departments of transportation in each of the 15 states we go through, but what we want it to be a household name in every single person's home. So New Hampshire basically, um, you know, up until very recently, and continues to be basically 0% of the East Coast Greenway is done in New Hampshire. And there's a railroad corridor there that's been sitting idle for decades. Um, and there's been local volunteers on the ground who've had a lot of energy behind purchasing this corridor and turning it into a trail to be part of the East Coast Greenway. We had a campaign to generate calls to Governor Sununu's office. Uh, and we picked a day and the goal was to have 200 plus calls made to the office between the hours of 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. The office was very pleasant about this. They weren't mad that we totally disrupted for the day, but the request was to ask Governor Sununu to urge DOT to move forward and complete the negotiations with Pan Am. It really, it got their attention and the DOT went back into negotiations with the railroad company. And it's my understanding that they're getting close. Um, they're getting close to a deal on purchasing the corridor, and which is amazing news. And then they've also committed to actually building it. This is sort of the key to getting New Hampshire done because we know that after building a section of trail, people come out and say, this is great. Why didn't we do it sooner? and why doesn't it go further? There's over 60 million people in all the counties that the East Coast Greenway goes through. At some point, it's gonna be just a mile or two for millions and millions of people. I had a friend once tell me, you know, this uh, trail building work is great therapy for the fanatical optimist because it takes so long. And you get a lot of no's, but if you're persistent and press on, you do get a trail built and it's a great product and it's a great legacy to leave to society and the next generation and your kids and grandkids. So get involved.